Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about solving system of linear equation. Two variables using the elimination method. In the elimination method, we will be multiplying the equation to a certain integer and we will be performing addition or subtraction in order to eliminate some of the variable and or in order for us to solve the other variable or the other unknown. Okay, so for example, let's take a look at this example. We have two equations. Okay, so for this equation, okay, we have 2x plus y is equals to 1. Let's label this as our equation 1. And we have 3x plus 4y is equals to 14. Let's label this as our equation 2. So, in this case, we can eliminate the variables, the variable x or the variable y. So, we will do the both of the elimination so that we will prove that whichever we eliminate, we will still be arriving at the same answer. So for example, class, so we have 2x plus y is equals to 1. So what will I do is that from equation 1, okay, from equation 1, okay, that is 2x plus y is equals to 1. If I am going to multiply this, okay, if I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3, okay, by 3, that is still the equation 1, okay? So if I'm going to multiply that by 3, what will happen? 6x plus 3y is equals to 3. So this is still my equation 1, only multiplied by 3, okay? Only multiplied by 3. Why did I multiply it by 3? So that... If I'm going to multiply by 2, the equation 2, they will have the same values of x. Okay? So what will happen here is that from equation 2, okay, from equation 2, you have 3x plus 4y is equals to 14. What will I do here with equation 2 is that if I'm going to multiply this whole side of the equation, both sides of the equation by 2, I'll be having what? 2 times 3x is 6x plus 4 times 2 times y is 8y is equal to 28. This is still my equation 2. So as you can see here, our new equation should be 6x plus 3y is equal to 3. This is still our equation 1. And our equation 2 is 6x plus 8y is equals to 28. So I have made both the variable equal so that I can, what? Subtract this equation 1 to equation 2 so that I can eliminate the value of x. So what will happen if I am going to perform equation 1, okay, minus equation 2? So what will happen? If I'm going to perform that, so we will be having 6x plus 3y is equal to 3 minus, this is our equation 1, minus equation 2, which is 6x plus 8y is equal to 28. So if I'm going to distribute the negative sign here, this should become what? Okay, this should become negative 6x, okay? negative 6x minus 8y minus 28, I'm, I will be proceeding to addition now because I have already distributed the negative sign. Okay? So you see the logic? So if we add this, okay, we, we subtracted it, 1 minus 2, equation 1 minus 2, we distributed the negative sign and we proceed to addition, 6x plus negative 6x is simply eliminated. Okay? So, perform the other term. So, 6 minus 6x six is 0x. So, 3 plus negative 8y is negative 5y. Okay? 3 minus 28 is equal, no, this is now equal to negative 25 because 3 minus 28 is negative 25. So, if I'm going to multiply this both sides of the equation by, okay, negative 5 or divided by negative 5. 
So what will happen? I will having I'll be having negative 5y over negative 5 is equal to negative 25 over negative 5. So the 5 will cancel, the negative 5 will cancel, negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. y is equal now to negative 25 divided by negative 5 is 5. So simply our answer for y is y is equal to 5. Okay? So another thing that we can do here is from the equation 1, we can simply multiply it by negative 3 and proceed to addition so that we can eliminate easily 6x. But I have shown you the the step-by-step -step procedure. Procedure. So, in order for us to get the value of x from equation 1, okay, from equation 1, we have, from equation 1, that is 2x plus y is equals to 1. Okay, substituting the value of y, we have 2x plus 5 is equals to 1. So, 2x, 1 minus 5, okay, 1 minus 5 is simply 2x is equals to negative 4. Dividing both sides by positive 2 so that we could get x. So we have 2x over 2. This should cancel. So we have negative 4 over 2. x is now negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. So our answer should be x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 5. Okay. So how about, sir, if I am going to eliminate, okay, eliminate y. Okay. Eliminate y. This is to eliminate y. So, we still have the same example. Okay? So, 3x plus 4y is equal to 14. If we're going to eliminate y and solve for the x and y, we will still be ar arriving at the same answer. So, what will I do is, I will make, okay, I will make this equation 1, okay, have an equal uh, but opposite sign of the second equation coefficient of y, which is 4y. So, multiplying, if I'm going to multiply negative 4 to equation 1, okay, multiply negative 4. So, if I'm going to multiply negative 4, so negative 4 multiplied by 2x plus y, okay, 2x plus y is equal to 1. Okay, so what will happen? Negative 8x, okay, minus 4y is equal to negative 4. So this is still my equation 1. Okay, so my equation now would be negative 8x minus 4y is equal to negative 4. And our second equation is 3x plus 4y is equal to 14. So, if I'm going to perform an addition, okay, so that I would be eliminating this y because negative 4y plus 4y, okay, is 0. So, eliminated y, okay? So, and proceed to other algebra of the variable. So, we have negative 8x plus 3x, that is negative 5x is now equal to negative 4 plus 14, that is positive 10. So, in other words, negative 5x is equal to 10. So, if I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 5, I could cancel negative 5, okay? So, this should be 1, is equal to 10 divided by negative 5. So, we have x is equal to 10 divided by negative 5, and 10 divided by negative 5 is x is equal to negative 2. And as you can see, the answer is still the same. x is equal to negative 2. When we eliminate x, when we eliminate y, still the answer is x is equal to negative 2. And how are we going to find the y? Again, to find y, substitute this x is equal to negative 2 to any of the equations here above. So we can substitute it in equation 2. Okay? So, if I'm going to substitute it in our equation 2, we have 3 times x, which is negative 2, plus 4y is equal to 14. Then solve for the value of y. So, I have 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, plus 4y is equal to 14. Okay? So, 4y, transposing negative 6 on the right side of the equation, we have 4y is equal now to 14 plus 6, which is 20. 
4y. So dividing both sides by 4, we have y now is equals to 20 over 4. Okay? So 4 over 4, that would cancel, leaving the left side of the equation equal to y. So 20 over 4 is simply 5. So as you can see, even if you eliminate either x or y, you will be still arriving at the same answer of which we have x is equal to negative 2 and y is equals to negative 5. So, okay, for our second example, okay, for our second example, we have the equation, we have the equation, still x minus y is equals to 1, and we have 4x plus 3y is equals to 18. Let's label this as our equation 1. Let's label this as our equation 2. Okay. So, let's try to eliminate y. Okay. So, from equation 1, equation 1, multiply it by, okay, if I am going to eliminate y, so I should multiply this by 3. So, multiply it by 3. Multiply by 3. So, what will happen? We have x minus y is equals to 1 multiplied by 3. Both sides of the equation. So, we have 3x minus 3y is equals to 3. This is still our equation 1. And if I'm going to add this, okay? Add this to our equation to 4x plus 3y is equals to 18. This is our equation 2. We added equation 1 multiplied by 3 to our equation 2. Then definitely, class, what will happen to the value of y? Negative 3y plus 3y would cancel, would simply cancel. And our answer here, the left is, okay, if we perform this addition of equation and equation 2, we have eliminated y. So 3x plus 4x would now be 7x, okay? And 3 plus 18 equal to 3 plus 18, that is 21, okay? So our equation now would be 7x is equal to 21. If I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 7, what will happen? x is equal to 21 over 7. And 21 over 7 is 3. So our answer should be x is equal to 3. And to get, okay, to get y, Substitute x is equal to 3 in either equation 1 or equation 2. So in this case, I'm going to substitute it on our equation 1. So for our equation 1, x minus y is equal to 1. So our x is 3 minus y is equal to 1. So if I'm going to transpose this on the right side and transpose 1 on the left side, so we have... 3 minus 1, transposing it, transpose y on the right, right side, we have equals to y. Then therefore, y is equals to 3 minus 1, okay, is equals to 2. So here is our answer. Our x is equals to 3 and our y is equals to 2. So again, if you do also to perform or to eliminate x in our equation upon eliminating x, okay, for, for eliminating x, you have to multiply this by negative 4, the, the equation 1 by negative 4, and then add it to our equation 2. You will be surprised that you will be arriving at the same answer. Okay? So, down for our last example here for number 3. So, we have 3x plus y is equals to 1. So, we have 5x plus 2y is equals to 1. We can label this as equation 1 and this is our equation. So, we can eliminate y, okay? So, if we multiply, multiply equation 1 by simply negative 2, okay? So, what will happen? We have 3x plus y is equals to 1 multiplied by negative 2. So, we have negative 6x minus 2y is equals to negative 2. This would now be our new equation 1. And if we are going to add this new equation 1 with equation 2, 
add that to 5x plus 2y is equals to 1. As you can see, negative 2y plus 2y would cancel, leaving all, only in terms of x. So you can now solve for x. So we have negative 6x plus 5x, that is negative x. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So multiplying both sides by negative 1 because we are uh, after the x, not the negative x. So that is x is equals to 1. So the value of x here is equals to negative 1. And in order for us to find y, to find y, substitute x is equals to 1 to either equation 1 or 2. So in this case, I'll be using equation 1. So 3x plus y is equals to 1. So 3 times 1 plus y is equals to 1. So we have 3 plus y is equals to 1. y therefore is 1 minus 3. Okay? And 1 minus 3 is y is equals to negative 2. And that's all for today. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something by uh, solving systems of linear equation by the method of elimination. So thank you so much for listening and God bless you.